Hi, my name is Danny Lauder. Welcome to Product Development Office at Estee Lauder where I've been working. And now I'm gonna show you how I like to do my lips to give it that extra pop of color. So first I like to start with my Pure Color and be blooming lip balm to make sure my lips are nice and hydrated for the whole day. Then I'm gonna start with my favorite color of Pure Color Envy, Bold Innocent. I found that I like pinks the most because usually, not now, I'm pretty pale. I have a fuller bottom lip as opposed to my top lip and using pinks with a nice lip liner gives it a very good shape and ability to contour your lips in a nice way. So we're gonna put this all over. Nice, clean, sweet. So I actually also like to use this side of the lipstick for my top lip because I'm the queen of the lipstick rings around the corners of my mouth. And it's a good way to blend it. Then I like to mix it usually with another color. Sometimes I will go a little red, but for the daytime I like to go a little more peach using my other favorite color, melon. And I'm gonna again use this side of the tip side to just kind of put it around the corners get that little shape going, getting started. And then I'll just use my finger. Last but not least, I like to use Double Wear Stay In Place Lip Liner, pink color. And I know a lot of people usually do their lip liner first, but I like to do it last because I find that it's easiest to blend and make sure that you know, you're keeping in tone with the right color depending on the lipstick you use. But this is a great color because it's very natural and it's very blendable. Start usually with this little doop to doop on the top of my lip. That's how we technically call it here. And I love this color because it lasts all day and it does have good payoff but it's not so harsh and it's easily blendable. For my bottom lip, because it, like I said before, it's bigger, I usually just like to keep a closed smile and go start again in the middle and the bottom and go from corner to corner. Then I'm gonna use the other end of it, which has a nice little blending brush, and make sure that the liner is mixed in with the color. And voila!